Y'all are being too quiet for this concert. Y'all, y'all ready to have some fun? Well, I'm, uh, I'm excited that you're here, and I know it's going to be loud. I'm the one mixing it up there, so I'm going to make it loud. So if it's not loud enough, I'm going to turn it up. If you're in the front, bless you. <laughs> but these guys are ready. They've, they've been practicing for a couple hours, and they're ready to rock. So I want to open us up in prayer, and I want to get this party started. Are y'all ready? Amen. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity to be in your house, in your presence. Lord, we are just so glad to stand here, not just to do church, because we do church every week, but we get to do something different. We get to have a great time tonight in your house, listening to music that's meant for, for you and for your glory. And Lord, we're just so glad to be here. So Father, we just pray that everything that happens tonight be because you willed it. And Lord, we just love you and honor you in your name. Amen. Well, without further ado, I'm going to introduce Mr. Kim Clout to the stage. And I'm sure he will uh, introduce his band to you in a few moments, but uh, I'm going to get out of the way. Hey, man, you did good, brother. Y'all like it so far? (laughs) Let me hear y'all say good time. time. Come on, say it with some enthusiasm. Good time. I was talking to a couple of guys in the back of the church about that. I asked them, I said, y'all ready to have a good time? They said, every time. I said, well, I tell you what, I grew up in church, and I remember when we were kids, if we had a good time in church, we got a spanking when we got home. <laughs> huh? Hey, y'all, I mean, y'all, Tony told me the same thing. You get to have a good time in church, spanking when you get home. Well, tonight, you're not going to get a spanking if you have a good time. In fact, tonight, if you don't have a good time, it's your own fault. Say it again, good time. Uh, I, I, I remember when the first time I played in church, I wanted to play so bad. And I remember the first time I walked into church with a guitar and my amp, as soon as I walked in, they said, it's too loud. And I remember saying, but I haven't plugged it in yet. Uh, give me a snare crack on that one. Alan. Thank you. That's right. Uh, I'll be here all night, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, you know, it, it kind of was hard for me to adjust in church music. And I was always, all of a sudden, I found myself trying to please church people. Boy, that's a terrible place to be. I mean, it's tough to try to please anybody, but particularly church people. And I tried to please them and try to please them. And just didn't seem to matter what I did. I couldn't. And, and a guy wrote me a letter one time that was so offensive, it really hurt my feelings. And I, I said to the Lord, I cannot please these people. You know what the Lord said to me? He said, me neither. (laughs) He did. He said, me neither. He said, why are you trying? He said, you can't please people. He said, I didn't tell you to play to them anyhow. He said, I told you to play as unto me. Play as unto me. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to play as unto him, and we're going to have a good time for you. Yeah, there it is. It's there.
Let me hear y'all say, nobody. I want you to growl it, though. I want you to say, nobody. Now I want you to do it twice. I want you to say, nobody, nobody. Hold on, guys. Let me show them their part. I give my life, Lord, to nobody. What do you say? Nobody. Again. Uh, yeah, I give my life, Lord, to nobody. What do you say? Nobody. Again. Nobody. Stand up. You can sing better when you're standing up. You ready, guys? One, two. <laughs> What do you say? Again. Yeah, I give my life blood to nobody. What do you say? Again. Because I know you're going to love me no matter what I say or do. I give my guitar, Lord, to nobody but you. I give my guitar, Lord, to nobody but you.
I'll never forget the first time I heard B.B. King play guitar and sing. And it moved me. The first time I saw him, he literally made me laugh. And he literally made me cry with his instrument, with his voice. I love blues music because it is distinctively American. It didn't come from the Stones. It didn't come from the Beatles. In fact, they came here and copied it. It was born in Mississippi and Alabama. It was born in Florida and Georgia. And it's distinctively American art form, and so I love it. Now, I know a lot of people think of blues music, they think of sad music. And, you know, Albert King said, if it wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have no luck at all. <laughs> Ray Charles said, if it rained soup, I'd have a fork. And he said, if a woman was cheese, I wouldn't have no crackers. <laughs> so lots of times people think blues music is sad music, but I like to call what I do sanctified blues. Holy Ghost soul and sanctified blues. Because Jesus took my blues away. And, and I'll never forget the first time I saw B.B. playing Lucille, and he played them slow blues, man. And I mean, just from his gut, it moved me. And so that's what I endeavor to do every time I armor up. I got six strings in my hand. By the way, this is Turquoise. And she's going to sing for you. I call this tune Milk and Honey, Baby. We're in C, two chords, but they're not in time. Y'all are coming in on this one. <laughs>
You didn't have any fun then. <laughs> it's your own fault. <laughs> you have to take me out back and hose me down. Hold on. Second Corinthians 5.17 says, If any man be in Christ, behold, he's what? A new creation. I was talking about this morning. Once you're born again, the Bible says your old man's dead. Look at your neighbor and say, my old man's dead. Now, that's what the Bible says. If you're in Christ, you're a new creation, your old man's dead. Here's how I say it. If I am what I am, it's because I ain't what I used to be. Let me hear y'all say, I am what I am because I ain't what I used to be. That's the name of this tune.
old enough to remember Sam and Dave. I'm a soul man. Y'all remember Sam and Dave? You have to have gray hair or no hair to remember Sam and Dave. Uh, <laughs> so do I, brother. Uh, they did a tune called I Thank You. Y'all remember I Thank You? And then later, a little old band from Texas, three distinguished gentlemen, two of whom had long beards, they covered the song, I Thank You. And whenever I do this tune, I like to tell the story. Both times I heard that, I thought, that needs to be sanctified. I love that message. And so we're going to do that tune for you, but I'm, I'm going to do us all a favor and tune this guitar for a minute. My experience with them is they play better when they're in tune. How many of you know people are a joy to be around when they're in tune? Again, this is Turquoise. She's singing her heart out for you tonight. to love me, but you did, but you did, but you did. I thank you. Didn't have to love me, but you did, but you did, but you did. I thank you. All my life, I was short-trained. Without your love, Father, it was a cry and shame. I know what them preachers talking about when they say throw your hands up and shout you didn't have to say me but you did but you did but you did I thank you didn't have to 
save me, but you did, but you did, but you did. I thank every day your promises are new. Read your word, and I pray a little too. You got me trying new things too, just so I can be obedient to you. I wanna thank you. I wanna thank you. I wanna thank you. I wanna thank you. Turquoise gonna sing. But you did, but you did, but you did. I thank you. Didn't have to bless me, but he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I thank you. Every day, his promises are new. I read his word, and I pray a little too. He got me trying. New things too. Just so I can be obedient. Sing it with me. I wanna thank you. I wanna thank you. I wanna thank you. I wanna thank for these guys. They're playing the hard outs back here. On the Hammond organ, David Hutchinson. You know him, you love him. Give him a hand. On the bass, David Netta. Give it up for David Netta. And on the drums, Al Netta. Give it up for him, y'all. B.B. <clears throat> King's biggest hit said the thrill is gone. I mean, I remember the thrill is gone. I mean, that crossed over. I think if you were anywhere in the 70s, you remember that. And that's another one I heard that needs to be sanctified. <laughs> Let me hear y'all say, the sin is gone.
sin is gone. Sin is gone away. Sin is gone. Sin is gone away. I've been washed in the blood of Jesus. How about you? That's why I'm here to say. Let me tell you about it. for you and I was just going to tell you a story I was telling somebody at lunch 
My dad bought my first guitar for me when I was 13. My dad and his family did gospel music all over the world, 115 countries. And when I was 13, I got to stand on a stage beside my dad two, three hundred times a night and get paid to play music. And the first time I stood out there and there was three, four, five thousand people and, and they're loving it. I mean, there's no feeling quite like that. I mean, I was just, my head came off. But if you're playing 300 times a year, there's going to be some nights there's not 5,000 people. There's 100 people. There's 80 people. And I remember one night, I don't remember, there hadn't been how many exactly, but nowhere near 5,000. And we were in the bus changing after the concert. My dad looked at me and kind of nonchalantly said, I'm not going to pay you for tonight. I, I said, what? He said, I'm not going to pay you for tonight. I said, why? He said, your heart wasn't in it. I said, but dad, man, there wasn't but 80 people there. He said, hold on. He said, what makes you think I'm paying you to play to them? He said, I'm paying you so you can play unto him. And he says, a consequence of that, when you play unto him, it don't matter how many people's there. He said, in fact, I expect you to practice the same way you play. And my dad taught me that lesson early on when I was 13. I can't help it. I played, we played like this two hours before y'all got here. Because it's the only speed I know. <laughs> this tune, this last tune we're going to do for you. I was in Raleigh, North Carolina. I was doing a Christmas concert. And I'm in the, about the third or fourth floor of a hotel. And I'm looking out my window. It's in Christmas time and it's snowing. And it's that wet snow. Y'all know that wet snow if you're outside. You can hear it fall. And North Carolina is like Georgia. It's eat up with pine trees. There's pine trees everywhere. And there's pine trees right outside my window. And the window was open. It was right at dusk when the, the light gets kind of purple. You know what I'm talking about? It's my favorite time of night. And I had a guitar in my hands, and, it, and that snow's falling. And it's landing in those evergreen branches. It's like they're catching it. And I sit there looking at that, and, and this melody I'm getting ready to play for you kept coming over and over in my head as I was watching that. So I call this tune, Snow in the Pines. Mm -hmm. 